of Governance is involved. I support the bill. Thank you. Madam Chair. Madam Chair. Yeah, thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, now, uh, this bill, in essence, as I said earlier uh, today, is an effort or intention to strengthen integrity, uh, openness, and of course, accountability in the management of the public sector. So the intention is, is uh, well known and uh, of course is good. A challenge here is how to maintain the balance. Uh, there are all sorts of um, uh, conflicting uh, themes here. Uh, one, of course, in part one, uh, we can see it, fo it focuses on employment, and remuner uh, remuneration. So these are important matters when we come to hiring a top uh, chief executives. So the part one mainly focus on Crown Entities Act. Um, it, 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 requires, it requires the boards of statutory Crown Entities to obtain the state commission, state service commissioner's written consent, the written consent to the terms and conditions of employment of a chief executive. So this is new because at the moment it's basically required to consult uh, with the chief service, uh, with a state, uh, sorry, with a state service commissioner. So now it's required these entities need to get written consent from the state service commissioner. And also the, uh, actually the, the, for, for some uh, entities this already applies. But now this bill will expand its scope to include uh, many more uh, crown entities. The bill also specifies, specifies a term of employment for a chief executive. Um, this again applies mainly to crown entities because uh, in public sector or pu uh, state, state sector, uh, most of these uh, chief executives already are uh, employed in terms, uh, under a five-year term. So, the current Crown Entities Act, um, uh, under this current Crown Entities Act, there are no specific reference to, to a term of employment for a Crown Entity, and this bill will set five years as a term, right? So the uh, balance here is, how do we have this term or this kind of remuner uh, remuneration? At the same time, we have the balance or we have the ability to attract top or experienced chief executives. Now, the New Zealand Schubert Fund, uh, in its submission, uh, does provide some good points, uh, so which I think we should, uh, we should elaborate or should uh, point out, and hopefully uh, the minister would be able to elaborate or answer some questions. In its submission, New Zealand Schubert Fund states that there is a broad spectrum of crown organizations with diverse risks, challenges, and complexities and their demand for knowledge and specific, specific skills varies within the public sector. So they are opposed to what we call one-size-fits-all approach to the employment of chief executives. I think this is a very good point, uh, simply be, uh, mainly because uh, New Zealand's fund uh, outperforms many other funds, uh, specifically uh, they mentioned that since the, since the inception of the fund in September 2003, the government has contributed New Zealand dollars, 15.02 uh, billion dollars, right? As at 28 of February 2018, the fund has returned 10% per annum after costs before New Zealand tax. So this is very impressive. How do we, how can we be sure that we are able to attract top uh, chief executive at the same time to make sure New Zealand Civil Fund will continue to perform. And in its, pub, uh, in its of course, a uh, public release, uh, press release, New Zealand Civil Fund also mentioned that um, now um, this, um, uh, the, what can I say? Now, those, uh, the remuneration for all Guardian staff, including CEO, was paid for from the fund not from parliamentary appropriation. So this is another point. I hope that um, uh, uh, the minister would give us the assurance that we will be able to make sure New Zealand Civil Fund will continue to perform, perform well. The reason why I'm asking the minister to, uh, exp to explain is because the minister specifically mentioned that uh, this bill will target 
New Zealand Super Fund uh, in uh, his uh, interviews with the press. So uh, this is my question. Hope the minister will. I call Jackie Dean. Thank you, Madam Chair. I have a, a number of questions for the minister.